Welcome. In front of me is a Arcos Diamond Gamma. And today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. So, number one, we will want to be connected to the network. So I'm just gonna go back because I just missed it. There we go. So I'm gonna connect to my network right now. And there we go. So as you can see, now I'm connected. Now I'm also gonna quickly show that I am uh, locked on this device. Hopefully this will be fairly quick. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, we are locked. So to get started with this bypass, uh, what you wanna do is go back to the first page right here, choose vision settings, and then talk back. And before I actually tap on the turn on, I will mute the entire device. Uh, silence. Uh, so basically once I enable the talk back, I won't be able to hear the annoying voice. So let's turn it on, confirm it. And once you see this screen right here, what you wanna do is draw an L on it. Simply like so. This will bring up the menu. So from here, tap on TalkBack settings to select it and then double tap it to confirm it. And now we will need to disable TalkBack. So hold volume up and volume down. Um, so up, down, both of them at the same time. This will bring up this menu. So confirm it by tapping on OK, then double tapping once more. And now we can actually scroll through it. So scroll all the way down to help and feedback. And from here, you want to now select the get started with voice access. There we go. And then, so once you're in here, we're gonna be looking for change Google settings. Okay, up settings, there we go. Then you want to expand the general and search results for your uh, from your Google products. So it's search results from your Google products. There we go. Uh, then scroll down till you see turn off web and app activity. There we go. Now we're looking for delete activity manually. There it is. And now let's scroll down to map timeline. There we go, map timeline. Just skip and then go back and then tap on the blue circle with an arrow in there to navigate and select start point, it can be your location. Okay, and then destination, uh, I'm gonna select KFC. There we go, USA, close enough, there we go. Oh, apparently not close enough. So let's try that again with a little bit of a closer search. do it like this okay and from there tap on the start button got it and then tap on the microphone open Google open Google hopefully that worked okay so it did work uh, so as you see uh, seen I just tapped on the microphone and said open Google and then it will open up Google from here tap on no thanks we don't want to sign in and in the search bar type in chrome there we go chrome let's accept and continue and again no thanks we don't want to sign in and from here you want to navigate into hard reset that info like so 
and then tap on F3 bars and go to the download category and in the download search bar you are looking to type in come on bring up the keyboard please there we go so in here you want to type in Android 7.1.2 and search and there should only be one thing as you can see there it is FRP bypass Android 712 and also 10 so choose download scroll down and when you see the download link right here you want to hold it and select open an incognito tab this will prevent us from the app never actually finishing the download which is some kind of bug that I have experienced multiple times so from here let's update permissions we can actually download it allow confirm it by typing OK and wait for it to show up that it has finished the download so it looks like it already downloaded so if you're uncertain how I got here um, tap on the three dots go to downloads and just simply tap on the download it up and from here we need to go to settings and allow, uh, allow unknown sources so check this on okay and go back and tap on it once more and this time around we can tap next and install and once it's done click on done and go back and go back and go back once more and now you want to type in the search bar settings so settings and again there should only be one a result select download scroll down and again hold it there we go hold it and choose to open an incognito confirm to download and open it up and again install now once this is done installing you want to open it up and from here I'm gonna go down to security there we go security and device administrator and credential and then stop on it again and find my device you want to select that deactivate there we go so from here we're gonna go back go back once more and once more and in the main settings page you want to go to apps there we go apps and tap on the three dots show system and scroll down to g which there we go g and you want to find google account manager and tap on the disable button right at the bottom disable google account manager go back and now also we will need to disable google play services i seem to be missing them Oh, there we go, Google Play services. So disable. And once we disabled these two, let's go back. Go back once more and we're now looking for accounts. Section, there we go, accounts. Tap on add account, choose Google. And from here you can log in using your Google account. Uh, if you don't have one, you can always create it. It's completely free. I can make one specifically just to unlock this device as a trash one and use it once and forget about it. But I have my own, so that's what I'm gonna use here. And I'm gonna put in a password for it. There we go. And let's tap on next and it starts logging in. There we go. 
Google Terms of Service, let's agree to it. And as you can see, it is logged in right here. So now we're gonna go back, back to the apps and we enable the two apps that we have disabled. So I can go show to sys show system, scroll down to G and Google Play Services, enable, go back and Google account manager, enable, and that's about it. Hold power key, uh, swipe to restart. And let's wait for it to actually reboot. Okay, so again, let's tap on more and more. Oh, I just enabled the talkback, so uh, hold volume up and volume down. It'll work. Let's just suspend talkback. Yep, there we go. So it took a little bit for it to actually realize that I tried to suspend it. So now let's progress through the setup. And as you can see, it tells us that the account was added and it's the account that I have uh, inserted right before the restart. So let's stop on the next. And from here, again, next. Next. Um, can I skip this? Apparently I cannot, so pattern unlock. So let's insert a pattern, then repeat it, confirm it, and there we go. So we have set a pattern. Let's go to can I can I not apparently I cannot skip this somehow, or I just missed it. But let's do it in this case anyway. Hopefully, yeah, but it's fairly quick. There we go. Um, so let's click on done. Let's go further. Now keep in mind uh, that the device is still not unlocked. So we're gonna get to it to fully unlock in just a second once we actually get out of the setup screen. And there we go. So once you're done with the setup, let's go into the settings scroll all the way down to I believe it's going to be probably in about phone looks like not we're looking for the reset option just gonna search factory data reset so there we go that's what we're looking for reset phone reset phone and now confirm it with the pattern that we have set and the process will begin. So this will probably take several minutes, uh, but once it's finished, the device at that point will be fully unlocked. So I'll be back once well, we're back in the setup screen. And as you can see, now the process is finished, so get back to it so this time around I'm gonna go to this setup process fairly quickly skipping majority of the things that I can but by all means you can set it up at this point however you like and everything will work just fine the device is right now fully unlocked and again we're almost done with the setup here There we go, so it's finished. And as you've seen, there was no need to verify anything. It just allowed me to skip network connection. And yeah, like I said, the device is now unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.